Hello guys, it's Super GT here. Welcome to career mode part 3 of Forza 6. So we're going to get straight into it and we're going to continue the career with the club circuit series. Now I asked you for car suggestions. I, ha I have read through the suggestions but unfortunately I can't actually buy any of those cars just yet. So I'm going to go for the classic compacts here and one car that's caught my attention is this car let's find it here the Mazda Cosmo now when tuned up this car is an absolute monster so we're gonna go for this now as for the paint job I don't really spend too much time looking here do you spend a lot of time I don't know I sort of just go with one of the first ones that's quite a nice one we'll go with that okay the first race is at the Hockenheim ring four laps around the short circuit so a bit of e-class racing here I don't normally do this but anyway assists we might as well turn all these off it's gonna be very easy on the e-class in fact we'll turn simulation damage off just in case a uh, driver tire goes a bit mental and we're gonna put this up to unbeatable but I'm never gonna win I'm never gonna be able to get to third place like this on oh, unbeatable so we're gonna have to go back down I think to pro I guess I guess unbeatable is actually unbeatable let me know let me know what you think of the difficulty settings I know they were quite a lot different than the previous game quite a lot harder we're making progress quite a lot quicker this time oh brakes aren't brilliant but I wouldn't expect them to be in a very old car So we threw up into fourth place now, making a lot better progress. Oh, he's taking a weird line there. Military Sam, that's quite an unusual line you're taking, going up all the way up to the pit barrier. And you can see here, this is what I mean about the runaway driver tar. You seem to get one driver tar who's miles quicker than everyone else. But at least it's a challenge for me to try and catch up with this one guy. Oh, looks like he's got out of control. And we're going to go flying past him. The Lotus Elan. How tiny that car is. cut that corner but I make no apologies I'm going to try and do a quick lap here to get away that's a quite nice line through there it's this next little complex coming up here this is the tricky bit got to keep your foot in through this left hander be brave as you can and then it's your guess is as good as mine as for breaking into that bit and I've gone a bit deep so it looks like I'm pulling away quite easily here so perhaps they should uh, make another difficulty level called Super GT and put it between Pro and Unbeatable which would probably suit me perfectly Pro seems to be a challenge but a little bit easy Whereas unbeatable is too hard and I struggle, I can keep up but it's hard to move forward up into third place which you need to progress. So something in between pro and unbeatable would be ideal for me I think. Okay there we go, over the line now to win the race. So that was fairly easy in the end but that depends on the track, it might get harder in the next race depending on the circuit that we're on. And we've reached level 1 affinity for Mazda. Okay, let's go on to the next race, Brands Hatch Indy. Okay, so let's go around Brands Hatch Indy. Now this track is actually really close to me. I live about 10 miles away from this track. Visited the place quite a few times and they've really done a very, very good job of making it as realistic as possible. And that guy's going to come flying across me. Thank you very much. Coming through Paddock Hill Bend. This, this corner really is steep and it is really is that steep when you actually go there it probably actually seems steeper when you actually see it for real 
Got to come out of the top here. Cars braking all over the place when they're coming out of the corner. Now looking in the comment section for the previous video, uh, Sabre9184 was asking, do I upload all of my tunes for everyone to download? Uh, for the good tunes that I've made, yes I do. And you can check out my channel for a A-Class Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale and for an S-Class Celine S7. So yes, I do have two tunes at the moment. I will be, of course, coming out with more and more as we go along, as I get more into the game. Um, it's quite clear at the moment which cars are going to be doing very well in which class. So, for example, in B-Class, there's a lot of Honda uh, S2000s. In fact, pretty much everyone is using them. And if you don't have one, you're not going to win, it, it seems like. So that, that car... I'll come out with a tune with as soon as I can and also it looks like in A class the B8, the back mono and also the KTM crossbow looks very strong and the Alpha 33 Stradale as always is always a fast car so these cars I'm looking into and these are the cars you might want to look at as well because they're going to be very quick in the in those classes especially a class but they can also be tuned up to s class as well i'm yet to look at the lotus elise that's always been a strong car for a class so i'll have a look at that as well see how good that is as we look into going on to lap four so halfway through this race now it's clear that we've got our runaway driver tar so i'm miles ahead of third but i'm still quite a long way behind first so it looks like again We've got our runaway driver tire up the front who just seems to be so much quicker than everyone else. So I suppose it gives you a challenge to try and beat one one other guy at the front if you've beaten the rest of the pack. But it can be frustrating if you really want to win every race and you've got this one guy who's just almost unbeatable. Now I'm sure 1010 are actually looking into this. They might not always be very clear on what they're looking into but I'm sure they are looking into it they do look into these complaints they will be working on a fix I'm sure this is quite an important one it's fan 97419 again so clearly whoever this is has got a very quick driver tar it's probably very good at this game but I've actually gone past you now thank you very much so it's just a matter of keeping it nice and tidy for one and a half laps and we've won our second race out of five in this championship. So I'm putting away now. Now this little corner here is quite a tricky one. Got to throw it in, get a lot of the curb. Oh, bit too much there. Go out wide and cut it back for a late apex. And then go back out wide again on the throttle. To get good speed onto the back straight. Look on the map there how far away me and, me and second place are from third over a thousand feet away from them and it's only been a five minute race so we're going to come through to win the second race of the championship and there we do it. there we do it 58.69 fastest lap i call it a championship actually but it's not really a championship because there's no points added up it's just a matter of getting through from one race to the next so we've got up to level 49 let's go for the spin just a tip here, you can actually wait a little bit and the prizes do change. So I just had a 500,000 there. Might as well wait until that comes back. We saw the top right, it's gone again. There it is. No, I have. There it is, yes, on the right. And it doesn't look like we got it. So yeah, you can wait there for better prizes, but I'm not getting very good prizes at the moment. So let's carry on. Okay, let's do a showcase event to break this up a little bit. Let's do a. Modern GT Spa. Okay, let's give this a go. So we're going to use the Ferrari, I guess, around the Spa circuit in the rain. Okay, let's make this interesting. Let's turn off collisions for the first part of the race. No collisions will help me quite a lot because I just have to go through everyone. So technically, everyone else will be fighting each other. But I won't be, because I can just go through all of them. Ha ha ha. Suck on that. Wait, can they go through each other as well? 
I can't tell. Or are they fighting each other? Um, it looks like they're fighting each other. So they don't have any uh, collisions off. Big puddle there. Another puddle here. Watch out for that one. And we've got our M Rossi up the front of the grid as well. Lo 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 go through you bro. It's a strangely satisfying feeling being able to go through everyone. And they're actually restricted to fighting each other still. So I'm neck and neck with this guy literally. This corner has so much understeer. This corner is such a tricky one to get right. You have to be so patient as well. And there's a puddle in the apex there. Looks like our dearest friend Dem Rossi is getting miles ahead already. So much, so many puddles everywhere on this track. It's crazy. The worst one is the one at the bottom of Eau Rouge. That is one is absolutely nasty. Okay, so we've got collision back on now. That helps quite a lot, being able to just go through everyone. While they're busy fighting with each other. You can just sail right through all of them. You get so many positions at the front because there's a massive concertina effect at the first corner when they all break. But you don't have to do that. You can just break when you want. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my god. That's what I mean about that puddle. It's absolutely treacherous. That corner is so tricky because there's a puddle on the inside and one on the outside. So it's really hard to get that right. And again, I did struggle around there. Nearly flat through Blanchimont. <laughs> and I just kept it on. Jesus. And this BMW is going to try and come past me. He's on the puddles though. He's going to lose... Oh, grip there. Measuring my progress against M. Rossi. He is in first and I think I've gained on this lap. And I really do need to start gaining because I've only got one lap left after this one. He is only just round that corner. And I need to get this corner right. This is the tricky one. Ferrari's gone slow. Turning very late. Avoid that one. And just get away with it through that second bit there. That is so hard to get right. God. I love the challenge, but I think it's a bit over the top with the pod. Oh, my God. I've done it again. I should have learned from the last time, shouldn't I? That was an excellent car control. Whoa, where's he come from? See, he cut that corner. It's just so hard to gain on these top two. They're so far ahead. I just can't... I can match them, but I can't catch them. So I'm about the same distance away. In fact, a little bit closer, but... Maybe I've left it too late. At least I didn't spin on that time. Spin out. Do something wrong. Nah, that's it. I've lost. I haven't won this one. The driver tires didn't cut the corner that time. That's quite good. Uh, third place. Not too bad. Shame we didn't win. But that was really hard work trying to catch up with those two driver tires. They're really miles, miles quicker. New showcase unlocked, Spa 100. The endurance racing, ah yes, very nice. So I was actually three seconds a lap quicker on my fastest lap, but I just wasn't consistent enough, that's the problem. Okay, let's continue the career mode. Okay, so we have the mods here. Let's, let's make this a little bit more interesting by putting grip down by 15%. Okay, let's give this a go. So I've got a lot less grip than I had before. So I'm going to have to be really quite careful. And this is really isn't a very good track to have not very much grip on. This is a grip track if there ever was one. 
But let's see how this goes. A 15%. I don't know if that is a high number or not. I suppose I suppose it is. 15% is quite a lot of grip when you think about it. And the car's already just started sliding. And if I can just hang in there around the corners and unleash the power on the straight, then I should be okay. I'm going to go through the middle of those two guys. I can feel it actually already. The car just doesn't want to turn in quite as well. I'm going to cut inside. Oh, we're doing this shorter circuit. Oh, it's not very good on the brakes. And I've gone wide. That's the effect of the loss of grip. So this grip reduction doesn't look like it's had much effect. I'm up into my normal third place already after lap one. Go around the outside. And you can see I'm sliding wide, but managing just to keep it in there. You can go quite wide in that corner anyway. It's this guy's drive tire again, fan nine something, nine seven four one nine. Clearly a very good player in this game. God, his car's got a lot of grip through there. And that wasn't a very good line for him. So I've taken the lead. Oh yeah. Come on bro. I've got 15% less grip. Should be winning. And that's going to be another victory. Across the line. That's three out of three in this series. Maybe I could go to unbeatable, but then I'll probably just end up turning it back down again when I find out that actually I can't get into third place at all. So let's look at our bonus. Nearly on nine million credits now, and nearly on driver level 50. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave this video. I hope you have liked it. Do I like this livery? Yes. Uh, race results. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember to like the video if you did like it. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you want to see plenty more of the same kind of stuff. And of course in the comments let me know your thoughts on this video. And let me, let me know what you want to see in the future as well. So it's, that's been all for me today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.